Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Soto AI 04 for Kamen Rider 01 featuring Kamen Rider build. It's kind of funny, it's not even the most recent rider, it's the one before that. <laughs> so, as you can see there are four figures in this set. This is a complete set, so you have everything to make all four. Of course we have Shining Assault Hopper here in the middle. We have Assault Wolf. Then we have two from, I believe these are from the uh, Grease New World movie. Uh, where he gets Perfect Kingdom, which we saw back in AI-02. So you have Metal Build and Phantom Build, which is kind of neat. I guess they were the villains of the movie. So not too much to come on that side. Shows you on the back here, you get eight boxes, so you can build all four of these characters. Let's go ahead and cut this open. So we can take a look inside. So, as you can see, right there, you do actually get two of this because it's the same base body, and they do show you that on the back here. Let's see how it says 5, 6, and 5, 7. I was looking at the wrong part, I'm like, wait a minute, it says something different, then I'm like, oh wait, it's written underneath. So yeah, it's 5, 6, 5, 7. Scared myself there for a second, but I'm like, wait a minute, they know what they're doing. They wouldn't have gotten this wrong. So here are the two boxes for Shining Assault Hopper. And then we have Assault Wolf. And then this is kind of cool. They actually go back to the build style of packaging for these. They have the gears in the background that match up. I think that's pretty cool. I believe they did that with uh, Perfect Kingdom Greece as well, but you can see how they're different. So this is Metal Build. And then this should be Phantom Build. So they all look pretty cool. And you can see they come with some extra heads and stuff like that, so. Should be pretty fun putting these all together. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. When I am finished, I will come back and we will take a closer look at everything. Alright, so here are the four fully stickered and put together. As you can see, we have Assault Wolf, Shining Assault Hopper, Metal Build, and Phantom Build. Now these two, like I said before, are from the uh, Grease Build New World movie uh, that I have not seen yet. So it is my understanding that he kind of starts off in this form and then evolves into this form. I think that's correct. It's kind of the villain of the movie. Um, but again, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm not 100% on that, but we'll start over here with Shining Assault Hopper. Take him off the stand. These have those new stands with the pieces that can kind of hook into each other, so you can get kind of like a cool honeycomb effect going on there. Extra hands plug into the base. You have a peg over here if you want to stand the figure by plugging them into the hole in the bottom of the feet, or you can peg them into the stand if you want like a jumping pose that's on a ball joint as usual. Here is Shining Assault Hopper. He looks pretty excellent, I have to say. Significant amount of paint. Um, on the head, I think there are just like a little sticker right here. And then a little sticker on the side. So just those two sides of the face. Oh, I'm sorry, on top of the head. Although i got to be honest, the top of the head ones kind of blend in. And I don't really see them all that much. <laughs> I don't know why they bother with them, but here we are. Uh, the sticker here in the middle, I don't think, I think this is paint. I don't think that's a sticker. All the shoulder pads, I believe, are paint as well. The uh, sides of the forearm here are stickers. That's two stickers. Belt, driver, The I think just the red here on the thigh is a sticker. But then all down here on the like ankles and shins and top of the boot. The yellow is paint, but the top is a sticker. So not too bad. He really doesn't have too many stickers. And then I really love the axe. I love the giant grasshopper on the axe. That's fun. And this is two pieces uh, that peg into, you know, the bottom and the top of the fist. But he does have a connector piece over here. You can see it. I have it pegged into the side of the base right here. So if you want to have the axe, you know, by itself, you can use that connector piece to have a solid axe when it's not in someone's hand. And then you use the hand instead of the connector piece when they're holding it. So, Articulation pretty standard for these. Heads on a ball joint. 
uh, you have the swivel and out to the side you have an out swivel and then an all the way around swivel for the shoulder shoulder pad is on that uh, connection so that you can move it around no problem there bicep swivel do you have 180 degrees yeah 180 degrees in the elbow uh, the wrist console because it's literally just pegging in because you have those extra hands you can use uh, you can actually take apart the torso if you want that's just a peg so that swivels uh, I think it's a ball joint in the hip and then you do have a thigh swivel as well 90 degrees actually maybe a little bit more than 90 degrees in the knee and then ball joint in the ankle so pretty standard articulation for soto figures but it's good very nice articulation i appreciate it so we will peg this back in here and move on to assault wolf as you can see he looks very good he actually doesn't have that many stickers, to be honest. Uh, these two here on the side of his thigh. The driver, of course. Uh, the gun here is the... Um, and I'm, I'm blanking on this. This is the same weapon as the axe, but in the gun mode. And I apologize that I'm blanking on its name. I should know that. Uh, there's a sticker here on the forearms. If I move this out of the way, you can see the chest. Decent amount of stickers on the chest up here on the sides, the one in the middle. And then he's got a couple stickers on the head, as you can see. Not too bad. For some reason, uh, these stickers on the shoulders, this is one solid sticker. And I was really having trouble getting that to stick down. I don't know why. But I do like that he has the hand so that he can hold the gun like this. I think that looks really cool. He's got the same articulation as Shining Assault Hopper. They really all do. If anything's different, I'll point it out. But for the most part, it's all the same articulation. But he looks good. Definitely looks good. Um, apart from the shoulder stickers not really wanting to stay down, everything worked out great. He looks good. I really like his color scheme. It's a little bit darker and more subdued than Shining Assault Hopper. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Shining Assault Hopper as well because the blue and the fluorescent yellow go really well together. But his colors are also really cool, kind of the darker blue. Well, I guess it's kind of the same blue, but also like a darker blue mixed in. And also black, I think it's a little bit more muted. And the red, it's all really sharp, so very, very cool. Does he have any special accessories now? He just got some extra hands down here. Uh, moving on to Metal Build. This is basically a hazard form. But I guess it's it looks like Tank. But it's all like black, like the stickers here are black. But then on the legs, he's got kind of a gunmetal gray. So while it is very similar, you can see the difference in color. It's not just like black on black, it's gunmetal gray on black. So, But otherwise, pretty much just a hazard form. Not too much else going on for this guy. Uh, he does come with a rabbit tank head. I don't think that shows up in the movie, but I guess they wanted to give you a rabbit tank head so you could do rabbit tank hazard if you wanted to reuse this figure as rabbit tank hazard. So they just threw that in. So you can be metal build, you can be regular build, you got all the builds. And then he comes with uh, that head that I showed you, and then also some open hands down here. But yeah, for the most part, it is a hazard form. It's good, you know, nice articulation and everything, but... I like this guy a lot better. He's got a lot more color. He also comes with a rabbit rabbit head, which I'm told appeared in some episode of the show for like a hot second. And so they <laughs> decided to throw this in. I don't know. And although I feel like I could get that one to stick onto the peg on the side here, for some reason I can't get this one to do it. And I don't know why that is. Oh, am I going to get it now? No, see, it won't do it. So I don't know. Maybe the shape of the head is a little different. I don't really think it is, but... I don't know. Somehow I could get that one to stay, and I, I can't get this one to stay. So <laughs> it is what it is. You've seen the head. I'm going to go ahead and put it off to the side now. So taking a look at Phantom Build, which I have to say is a pretty cool name. Standard uh, stand here, pretty much standard open hand, uh, closed fist. I will say that uh, Phantom Build and Metal Build have the same base body. So you'll notice that the legs are exactly the same. Same gunmetal gray stickers. 
pretty much all that is exactly the same as over here. The only difference is the torso and the forearms and the head and the shoulders, obviously. Basically, the whole upper half is different. And the neat thing about this is he's got these uh, different forearm pieces. So how it works is like these actually come off and then it pegs on here and then you peg the hand into that. And he, he's the same way. So he came with like regular forearm pieces that kind of blend in perfectly so you don't even notice them. But they, they do come off because it's the same base body. So, but anyway, you have this pretty cool like uh, army green color with a little bit of like a rust orange accents. That's a sticker. This here is a sticker and this little bit of gray. And then the whole head is one sticker. Otherwise, it's all paint. That's paint. All the green, I think, is just molded in the green color, but it looks good. Uh, the forearms are painted. And then you put one big sticker here on the... Uh... Again, I'm, bl I'm blanking on the name of these weapons. <laughs> At least with Build, it's been a couple years. I forget. what This is Build's main weapon. His gun slash sword thing that he had. Um, I want to call it like, the Metal Caliber, but I think that's wrong. Build... I don't know. I'll have to look it up. In any case, I uh, apologize for that. But he does come with a weapon. That's one big sticker on that. So I think he looks pretty good. And these stickers, you know, they add up. It's kind of meticulous. But they're nice flat surfaces, so they're not difficult to put on. And I really like the, the green. I think that goes well with the black and the gunmetal gray. And then you have the little pop of the rust-colored orange. So they all look good. I really like them a lot. I think it's funny that uh, this uh, whole wave was half build, half zero one, but then you look at the next one coming out, which is five, and that's mostly Geo. <laughs> I think the only actual zero one character in that is Thouser, and then it's a bunch of stuff from the Geo uh, movie. So sometimes that's just how it goes. But I think we should be done for build. I think everything from now on is going to be either uh, Geo or Zero One. But this was a pretty cool box. I definitely recommend picking up the whole box. If you really don't care about the build characters, definitely get yourself a Assault Wolf and a Shining Assault Hopper. They're both fantastic. But I think these guys are cool. I think adding them to the collection is always nice. Especially if you liked the Grease movie. I have to go watch it. Um, it's been on my radar for a while to, to check it out. And I need to just find some time and, and go ahead and actually watch it. Um, but yeah. Very cool set. Definitely recommend picking these up. Soto continues to impress. And uh, is there anything else I need to say about these? Mm, no, I don't think so. Um, I definitely am leaning more towards the Zero One characters as being my favorite, but I still think these guys are pretty neat. So that'll do it for this one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.